China's authoritarian crackdown can under President Xi Jinping continues. The country enacted a new law today that may drive some international businesses out of the country and further suppress the Chinese people. The provisions in the new law are vague, as are the punishments for violating the law, but generally call for radical increases on government propaganda in news reports and greater government control over public opinion. This includes what the law calls national security education in schools and a crackdown on harmful foreign cultural influences. The new law also enables the government to further control all key network infrastructure and information systems. To those of us in the West, Kevin Tofo, I think this is kind of like a head scratcher because, uh, mm. you know, you'd think, well, don't they control everything already? Aren't the major publications all government publications? Doesn't the government already ex have the great firewall of China and so on? But no, this law uh, is, you know, of course, China for, for a couple of decades now has been trying to balance the control and the stability of a single party communist uh, party ruled country against the economic benefits of a kind of capitalist system and they you know they're trying to balance these two things that don't really go together very well and uh, under the current president for the last two years this has been a, a pretty aggressive swing toward the old school communist party control i i guess they figure that they're wealthy enough already and uh and and this i think this is a um, I don't think they, the elites, the people who are enacting this uh, this new set of laws, I don't think they realize the risk they're taking with the economy. I think they're going to enjoy mm. the, the the control that they'll get. And of course, I think to to a certain extent, this is a, uh, a reaction to revelations about the degree of NSA surveillance of the Chinese uh, population and government and so on. But uh, what are your general thoughts on this uh, this unappealing turn of events? Well, I, I mean, I, I think it's a shame for the, the population of China, of course. Um, you mentioned what the, the government is trying to balance against. I think they're also trying to balance against the rest of the world that has a generally free Internet. Yes, there are um, obviously countries that still have similar um, limitations on, on what type of content can be out there and so on. But, you know, around the world, we're all connected. The globe is getting smaller. And that's a really tough position uh, to, for China to fight against. Um, so that's that's issue number one. The other thing is, um, I think in the long run, this is going to hurt companies such as Google, which are already on the outs in China, and the uh, network makers in China that people don't buy their equipment. Uh, in the U.S., we tend to stay away from networking equipment from the Huawei's and the ZTE's. And I think with this, we'll, we'll probably stay away even more. So will other countries. Yeah, and the, the old, uh, you know, five, ten years ago, the, the thought was, man, you got to get into China because if you can just get a tiny percentage, any percentage mm. of that enormous market, you're going to make a ton of money. And now, you know, we're looking at the country and not a whole lot of uh, non-Chinese companies are making a ton of money other than KFC and a couple of other, you know, uh, countries, uh, companies like that, maybe a car company or two. It's really not that lucrative a market considering how huge it is because the the system has already favored uh, Chinese brands, Chinese companies, and under these new laws, it's going to further favor those things, especially in the realm of internet and technology. So, well, Donald Trump's going to fix it all. So he'll don't fix worry. it all. He stood up to China. I saw an interview with him. He said, <laughs> I stood up for China. And it's like, how did you stand up to China? And he, he sort of skirted the issue. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, uh, he, the comedians must love the fact that he's running for president.